Hello, everyone, and I hope you are having a fantastic Friday. Welcome to a new installment in NextGen Cam's webinar series. My name is Umer, and we are going to be talking about Autodesk Fusion 360's new persona packages. How are they going to help you and your business improve the workflow all the way from inception with design, simulation, and prototyping to large scale manufacturing? So let's dig right in. Question number one, what are these persona packages? Well, before we can answer that, we need to understand the different extensions Autodesk Fusion 360 provides. So the extensions are a collective group of capabilities that can be added to base Fusion 360 to supply added functionality and benefits to users. We'll take a look at some of the key features you will be getting under these persona packages. The two persona packages are the product design package and the manufacturing package, both of which have been carefully tailored to provide users with the capabilities and tools to tackle a variety of different challenges. These two packages combine Base Fusion 360 with applicable ex extensions to supply a complete toolset for those doing product design and manufacturing. The Autodesk Fusion 360 for Product Design Package is a solution not only for designers and engineers, but for anyone designing products. This package includes industry-leading Fusion 360, along with the Fusion 360 Product Design Extension to model the most complex of designs, Fusion 360 Simulation Extension to perform advanced simulation studies, and Fusion 360 Manage extension to keep track of your data across departments and geographies. So let's take a look at some of the features in these extensions. Starting with the design extension, Fusion now provides a diverse range of tools to improve and automate your design experience. By introducing tools to streamline the design and preparation of plastic parts for injection molding, you can now design with confidence and guidance from Fusion 360. Take advantage of the new BOSS feature available in the plastic design area in the design workspace. This new feature lets you create and standardize fastener options. Simply by using sketch geometry, instantly locate, and define your BOSS features with the inbuilt parameters. Choose from different materials, apply custom draft angles and shoulder depths, and so much more. You can also create custom shapes by defining the geometry in the dialog box. Fusion 360 product design extension doesn't just let you create, but also assists you in preparing your product for manufacturing. Spend less time finding out issues on the manufacturing floor or at your design review meetings. Get ahead of the problem by using Fusion's design advice tool in the plastic design workspace. Use it to improve the manufacturing efficiency of your design. First, select your body and then the pull direction, and you will see four selectable advisory sections, thickness, undercuts, draft, and knife edge. After selecting the right material rule, you will get graphically detailed feedback and suggestions you can use to improve your design and make the necessary changes. Geometric patterning is the new and additional surface patterning tool and adds texture to faces and features. In the past, this process would often involve cross-product workflows, which can slow down your design process and be costly. Now you can take the computational nightmare out of the equation by using this fully automated process. Use the geometric patterning feature to add preset or custom surface patterning features such as grips and speaker grills or to be used in your next headphone designs. What is also great about this feature is that it's iterative. Choose different variations, adjust parameters so you find the right cluster design to fit your aesthetic goals or functionality. 
having options to be able to design your product with the intent to manufacture it is crucial to the success of your design. The new SnapFit feature allows you to do just that. Similar to the Boss feature, the SnapFit feature is parameter driven and can be edited and stored as your default design. The feature also grooves out the body that the Snap will hook into, giving you the ability to automate a process that if not would take twice as long. Having the ability to prototype how parts snap together in the real world is a game changer for any designer out there. The new joint system in Autodesk Fusion 360 flips the script on just geometric mates for part relationships. With the addition of the new tangential relationship joint, you can now have two components tangent to each other, and when one moves, the other moves tangentially with it. This functionality will make kinematics in assemblies a much simpler process. With advanced simulation in the simulation extension, you now have the ability to have unlimited cloud-based solves in Fusion 360. If you're looking to solve your simulations locally and with no restrictions based on cloud credits, then the simulation extension is built for you. The Fusion 360 simulation extension is a set of most simulation studies types to help you investigate if your 3D design can be manufactured or how it may perform under real life conditions before manufacturing anything. Analyze the performance and manufacturability of your 3D designs to ensure they will meet the demands of real world conditions with structural, thermal, and explicit simulations. The injection molding simulation helps you identify how your part design influences part manufacturability and quality for plastic injection molded parts. Through guided results, get an aesthetically and functionally acceptable part that will perform as intended. Also now available with the Product Design Persona package is the all-new Autodesk Fusion 360 Manage Extension, a more simpler, centralized, and cleaner file management system that lets you capture, notify, approve, and view the full history of design changes to help manage compliance. Release and track the latest approved data to stakeholders using pre-configured workflows and assign a unique ID to each design in order to ensure accurate traceability during the product lifecycle. Now that we've taken a look at some of the reasons why the new design persona package can help improve your design workflows, let's look at the other persona package Autodesk Fusion 360 is delivering. The Autodesk Fusion 360 for manufacturing package is a solution that anyone can use to design and manufacture any product on their shop floor. This package includes industry leading Fusion 360 along with the Fusion 360 product design extension, Fusion 360 machining extension, which unlocks advanced CAM toolpath strategies, the Fusion 360 nesting and fabrication extension, which reduces raw material waste for flat components, Fusion 360 additive build extension to expand your capabilities for 3D printing, and the Fusion 360 manage extension. We covered some of the extensions that are available in the manufacturing package, so let's take a look at some of the other ones. Mainly the Fusion 360 machining extension and how these tools can provide your business with the capability for advanced manufacturing. The manufacturing extension provides you with new toolpaths like the steep and shallow toolpath, a finishing strategy that is able to automatically identify part slope angles and curvatures and automatically applies the right finishing strategy giving your machinists and programmers the ability to finish complex 3D organic and freeform parts all in one single toolpath. Use important parameter settings like the threshold angle for the strategy to shift and the overlap distance that blends the two together. Smooth offsets create smoother machining arcs for better surface finish. Reduce time for post-machine hand blending and polishing with cusp removal passes that take care of pesky ridges from tool overlap. Reduce tool marks on your walls by using the wall clearance feature for better surface finish. You don't have to worry about having to match your parallel direction anymore either. This is done automatically. Finally, use the ordering option to make sure your tool doesn't interact with stock in unforeseen areas. You can now add surface inspection workflows as part of your machining process by checking specific areas or features of your part with your probe. Simply click or drag the arrows to modify the locations and set parameters for your probe to alarm mount on tolerance restrictions. Import these results into Fusion and check for part accuracy. 
Green means your intolerance, and red means stock is still remaining. Drilling holes is one of the simplest machining operations. However, when you are faced with a numerous amount of them, it can make the whole process quite tedious. With the hole recognition feature, you can now simply automate this process and make any changes you need to specific holes. Create custom hole templates and multi-axis drilling, both of which are recognized in this feature, gives you the ability to create complex drilling operations, a simple task, and much more automated. Additive manufacturing is now a supported feature in the manufacturing workspace in Fusion 360. Create quick prototypes of your parts with a variety of different printing modes from SLA, FDM, MJF, and much more. Use the automatic part orientation feature to decide on printing efficiency along with support structure that can be customized for degree of different complexities. The machining extension provides you with the tools to combine different manufacturing strategies from subtractive fabrication to additive all in one easy to use workspace, which makes it the perfect tool to increase your productivity on the manufacturing floor. So that was a lot of information, but let's recap. After all, we want to understand why these new persona packages can be of value to you and your business. To do this, let's think of your workflow. Using these advanced features in the design workspace, you are able to get ahead of design flaws and issues. When deadlines are approaching and the resources for physically testing and iterating can be hard, suggestions from Fusion 360 design advice feature can take care of simple workflow operations and can optimize your time spent designing. Using automation features like the BOSS and SnapFit feature eliminates time to model them and finding out in too many inconvenient steps that they may not work. It would also take care of logistical issues when dealing with large assemblies. The last thing you need is to walk into your colleague's office to find the same component you are working on being worked on at the same time, leading to design rollbacks, incorrect feature revs, and so many other issues. Next, simulate your models to see how they react in world, real world settings. Find out now if you're going to fail rather than get a call from your customer. Improve your designs using the shape optimization feature to control manufacturing costs and resources by still developing, still developing parts and components that will function as intended. Now that you have your design dialed down, Use the additive manufacturing feature to create different iterations of your product and test them in real world scenarios. Then create advanced tool paths to machine these products. Save time by using steep and shallow to create tool paths that are organic and for better surface finishing strategies. Automate tool path creation with hole recognition and so many other cool features. As a machinist myself, I am in awe of the new machining extension and all the capabilities that come with it. Finally, take control of your quality before your parts leave the machine. Automate inspection routines and take the guesswork out of machining. Get in touch with us at NextGenCam. We would be happy to talk to you further about the exciting capabilities and opportunities these packages can bring you. Visit our website and follow us on social media. Links to these are available in the description below and hit that subscription button to stay up to date on all of our content and features. Unlock your design and manufacturing potential and start creating better workflows that will lead to more productivity and innovation. Thanks for joining us in this week's webinar and we'll see you on the next one.